It's a great pleasure to be here today. The first thing I wanted to mention was uh, Chancellor Ward sends his congratulations and thanks to you. He's on a much deserved uh, vacation. I think we gave him two or three days off and he'll be back in the saddle uh, this weekend. But he uh, has watched this project from the beginning and is very uh, congratulatory to everyone here. I'm delighted to welcome the guests. But a few words about the Energy Institute. Uh, Michael mentioned the spatial coordinates. And special coordinates have meaning on this campus. Uh, this position of the building was chosen very purposefully to be at the nexus of an interface between several of our major colleges and a nexus of our student population. So it's becoming a new focus area for campus. And I felt very strongly about this from the beginning. So while we had a plan for the Wisconsin Energy Institute, I guess I nudged it, I think it was probably a little bit more definitive than a nudge, uh, was to create an environment where we could bring together the huge crosscut of knowledge and science on this campus and apply it to one or more really extreme social problems. Uh, this is something this campus does extremely well and this fits in with that initiative uh, almost perfectly. Uh, if you look at the three crosscuts that we've uh, pushed so hard on campus, uh, energy is certainly one of them, but sustainability and global health are right standing side by side by them. And it's very hard to have an advance here that doesn't apply there. So this fits, uh, at least to my mind, the concept of the Wisconsin idea more than almost any other activity that we can do. But a building uh, like this, which is absolutely magnificent, is really more magnificent depending on what's done in it. And this is a unique opportunity for campus to do something it hasn't done before and do it in a really comprehensive way. Uh, if you just look at the backbone of this facility, and particularly at GLPRC, uh, which is the anchor for all practical purposes of what will happen here, uh, you can see that the importance of looking at energy issues in a broad spectrum uh, the Secretary uh, raised a very important point. Uh, what we do here will affect society all over the world, not just here in Wisconsin, not just here in Madison, but the concept of bio-derived fuels, synthetic fuels, uh, cell technology, and a whole systems approach to how we uh, create energy, how we use energy, and how it affects our life and style around us is really important. People don't have a long time horizon, as you well know. This institute will have a longer time horizon and will be a, a highly impactful to campus for years to come. Um, I think that we will find the kind of research that derives from here will create whole new programs in areas that we don't expect and don't anticipate. And that's why we structure the way the governance of this facility will take place, really cultivates and aligns that. Uh, we can anticipate new graduate programs, new undergraduate involvement, things that we are really noted for. Uh, it was just at a Regents meeting yesterday where they were highlighting research experiences for undergraduates and some of the other comprehensives. And they looked at that in the context of small startup companies. And one of the major components of that said, well, this derived from the nanoparticle effort that was coming out of Platteville's engineering program. And he said it worked really well for about a year. And then we really needed the kind of creativity and infrastructure to advance that and we moved the program to Madison. So the Board of Regents were a little startled to see that their peripheral efforts were really focusing on uh, the flagship campus of the institution. So I'm positively delighted to be here. Uh, I think this is going to be a great success. Uh, Mike and Tim and the two deans are to be congratulated for this. I think we're looking forward to virtually decades of success in the future. Congratulations, Mike.